Hey kids, Graham here from therecordingrevolution.com. Got a video for you Pro Tools users out there today on how to shrink your session size. Uh, why is this important? Well, the more you record on a song and the more you start to edit on a song as your mix progresses, whether you know it or not, you're creating a ton of audio files in the background because Pro Tools will save everything you have ever recorded, sliced, deleted, not interested, bad take, delete that. It's not really deleting anything. You may not see it here in your edit window. You may see just a few nice tracks thinking you're mixing just those, and you are mixing just those, but your audio file folder, which is sitting on your drive somewhere, is filling up with a ton of useless pieces of audio, okay? What's important is that you don't mess with anything while you're doing your track. When you've got a song to the end and you've mixed it and it's mixed down and you know you're pretty much wrapping up a song, you don't need to keep all those extraneous pieces of audio around. You just want to get rid of them because what you can do is completely shrink your session size down to a much smaller file which you can then easily back up, you can store, you can archive, you can keep it for remixes later. You've got all the audio that you want to play with that you would ever need if you're doing a mix later, but none of the stuff that you're not using. It's really fast, it's really simple, and you should totally do this when you're done with a mix. Let me show you how. When you're done mixing, you want to open up your region bin for your audio and MIDI regions. And there's a little arrow down here. You click that, it pops out your regions bin, okay? If you take a look in here, these are all pieces of audio and audio regions that have accumulated over one mix of a song, okay? And there's some MIDI down there at the bottom. What we're gonna do is click this arrow up here under the regions bin and choose select unused. So we're gonna select any unused regions, okay? And what that did is it just highlighted in blue every single piece of region that is not being used in my mix, which is a majority of all of this stuff in my, in my folder. So pretty much, it looks like 90% of my audio is not being used, all of my regions, really. Okay, so what does this mean? When they say unused, what does that mean? That means what is used is, of course, anything we see here in the edit window. Any of these regions, these are being used. So by choosing select unused, it's not going to select anything you see here, nor is it going to select anything in your different playlists. So you may have kick and snare and overhead and things here, but if you have a drum group like I do, I have a couple other playlists with different versions of these drums, okay? These are being used because they are in an active playlist. Now granted, it's not the top playlist, but Pro Tools will not select those, okay? See that track, High Toms 07? High Toms 07, keep that in mind, all right? That is on a playlist that I'm not using, but when I select unused, High Toms 07 is still unselected because it is being used somewhere, it's just in a different playlist. I just drag that point out just to make you aware that you're not going to lose anything in a playlist. So when you do editing and you're doing comping and you have multiple takes that you might want to go back to, you keep those in a playlist, that's fine. But every other piece of audio that's not showing up in an active playlist is selected. So that is a majority of my audio and the final step is to clear it. So you go back up to the menu, choose clear, and here's the big deal. Pro Tools is going to say, okay, this is a big, big deal. Are you asking to remove these pieces of audio and MIDI from your session or delete them, okay? Now, if you remove them, they are no longer in the main audio folder of this session, but they still can exist on your hard drive. That's important because you may be using another session that is using the audio as well, and you may not want to delete it entirely because it might affect another session. But if you know it's just audio that you used in this session, you could go ahead and delete. For now, though, I'm going to remove, okay? And what that did is it gives me only the remaining pieces of audio that are in my session. And I don't even have to scroll. You can't scroll because that's it. That's all that's actually active. It has taken all the other pieces of audio out of my audio folder in this Pro Tools session. 
What that means for me is that when I go ahead and save this out or save a copy in, which you'll want to do to archive, and I choose all audio files to save those, it's only going to save these audio files. It's going to then save me a copy of the session with just the audio I need, much, much smaller file, then you can archive that, back that up, or send that to someone else if they're doing a remix. They don't need that massive bloated audio folder with all the other stuff in it, all right? That is shrinking your session in Pro Tools. Do it when you're done with the mix. It'll save you a lot of wasted hard drive space. Hope this helps. Again, this is Graham at therecordingrevolution.com. Please subscribe here to the channel on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube, and definitely subscribe to the newsletter on the blog. I've got a free ebook called The Number One Rule of Home Recording. If you haven't downloaded it, it's completely free. It's really helpful. It might blow your mind and help you get to be making more music in your studio in less time. All right, guys, have a great week. We'll see you next time.